I entered a special dream, a moment from my memories. In this dream, I will share my story with you, whether it's moments of joy or adventures. Let us embark on this special journey of memories together. When I was just a little puppy, I saw two new friends, their faces filled with smiles and their eyes radiating love and anticipation. To me, they were the best human friends. My little tail wagged non-stop, and I felt both excited and a bit nervous. I didn't know what would happen, but I knew it was going to be an adventure filled with warmth, and together we would create many wonderful memories. When I arrived at the hospital and saw someone called a veterinarian holding a strange long needle, I felt scared and tried to escape, but they gently held me. That needle looked scary, but later on, I understood it was for protecting my health. Despite my initial fear, now I know they always cared for me, ensuring my health and happiness. After getting the shot, the female owner held me in her arms, and her face was filled with smiles. I felt incredibly happy because I knew she was someone who loved me. I followed her back home, my heart filled with gratitude and love. In her embrace, I knew I had found a warm home filled with love and care. The first time I stepped into the new home, everything was strange and fascinating. It was a big place filled with various sounds and scents. I was a bit scared, but the male owner and the female owner were very gentle with me. They provided me with a warm place and food. I understood that I was no longer alone, and this place was full of warmth and security. As time quietly passed, we spent many joyful days together. We ran together, chasing frisbees, and sometimes just lounged lazily in the sunlight. It was the most wonderful time of my life because I knew we were a happy family, every day filled with laughter and warmth, just like a carefree fairy tale. One day, a little baby came to our home. She was a baby, so she was very small and cried loudly. I was a bit surprised by her presence. She looked at me, seeming afraid, and I just sat quietly, trying not to frighten her. I knew she was our new friend at home, even though our meeting was a bit unusual. I wanted to make her feel welcome, so I gently wagged my tail, hoping to soothe her cries and let her know I was a friendly dog. The baby continued to cry, and I felt helpless, but I didn't want her to feel lonely. So, I approached her gently, even though she was still crying. My tail wagged softly, and I tried to lick her tiny hand gently, hoping to comfort her and let her know I was a new friend, a little companion she could rely on. As time went by, the little girl grew a bit older, but she still felt afraid of me. Every time she saw me, she would hide behind the man owner and not come near me. I felt a bit sad because I really wanted us to be friends. I didn't understand why she was scared of me, but I knew we needed more time to build trust. I would keep trying to let her know I was a friendly dog. However, one day, the little girl slowly approached me, and though I could sense her fear, I stayed still and looked at her with curiosity and warmth in my eyes. In that moment, our bond grew stronger. I felt so happy because I knew we were finally becoming true friends, and our friendship would make her happier, and me too. In that moment, both the little girl and I wore smiles. I knew that even though she had been afraid of me before, we had now become friends. We played together, and she no longer avoided me, but willingly shared every day with me. 
It was a wonderful time as we grew together, providing each other companionship. Our laughter and happiness filled our home, and that's our story, a tale brimming with friendship and love. Well, I'm getting older now. Sometimes I feel a bit tired and lay down in my dog bed to catch my breath. I know my owners worry about me, and they wait patiently. They are always very considerate and caring, understanding that I need more rest. Even though I'm getting older, I know that in this home, I'll always be their special member, and their love will always be with me. As I've been gradually aging, I've found it harder to keep up with my owner's fast pace. However, my owners are wonderful. They slow down their steps to let me comfortably catch up with them. They understand I need more time and always take care of me with great consideration. This makes me feel very happy because I know they cherish me, no matter how old I become. I will always be a part of their hearts. They always stopped and waited for me. My owners were incredibly considerate. They understood that I needed more time to keep up with them. It felt really good, knowing they cared about me, and their love and concern warmed my heart. In this kind of family, I always felt accepted and loved, and that was a special feeling that I treasured dearly. Then, one day, I departed. The little girl cried for a long time holding on to me and speaking many words. I knew she would miss me, but I also wanted her to know that I would forever love her, just as she had always loved me. Beyond the realms of heaven, I will continue to watch over her until we reunite once more. Our friendship and love will never fade away. They will forever shine in our hearts. Although I have left this world, I do not feel lonely or sad because I know I had a wonderful set of owners who were always there for me, making me feel incredibly happy and content. Their love will forever reside in my heart, just as my love will always be with them. In another beautiful place, I have many new friends, and we explore and play together, filled with laughter and happiness. My life is brimming with love, and that love will endure eternally. The story has come to an end. If you enjoyed more of Layla Sisters' stories, remember to like and subscribe to Layla Sisters' channel. And please share it too. Layla Sister loves kids who like to share the most. Let other kids know about this story too. So until next time, goodbye and take care.